Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you how to make use power and fuel the reaction chamber with water and lava. Now this video was suggested by Deserted Master in the comments of one of my videos. He said, hey, you should do a tutorial for the reaction chamber. So that is exactly what I will be doing. Now, I'm gonna make a second tutorial. It'll probably be out the day after you're watching this video, but anyway. So, this is gonna be the one. First thing you wanna craft from immersive engineering, you're gonna wanna craft the engineer's hammer. Now, the engineer's hammer is super useful in getting these iron plates, which will, and then you'll be able to put this iron block with next to the two uh, stone bricks. Like so, and here, let me just, uh, there, there we go, alright, uh, go back to normal, please, there we go, okay, and you, two, alright, so, this is how you craft the, what is this supposed to be, oh, this recipe disappeared, um, I didn't delete this, this recipe just disappeared, copper, copper, Ingot. Whoops. Nugget. Uh, this one. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. There we go. That makes you the copper wire. But first, this is how you make the blast furnace with four iron plates, one furnace, two stone bricks, one iron block, and one redstone. And you power it with a normal generator. And in case you don't know how to craft the generator, generator right here. Here's how you craft it. Very simple. Five cobblestone, one iron, two redstone, and one furnace. So, boom, that's how you craft that. You just put coal blaze rods or whatever in there. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make some steel. This is important for later, but this is how you make it. It takes a little while, but it makes you four steel. But anyway, we're going to move on here. So, what you do, what did you make the copper wire for? Well, you made it to make the circuit board, which will become very important for later. Then you put the four copper wires, two green dye, two redstone, and one iron plate in the middle, and that gets you the circuit board. Now, I know the deserted master, No, he told me in the comments that he knows how to make and get the reaction chamber, but he just doesn't know how to power it, but I'm just doing this for anybody watching who does not know which there probably is so I'm just gonna help them out anyway so one of the next things you're gonna want to make is the me mechanical parts which requires four iron one flint one mechanical part two and then what you want to use the mechanical part for is you get it in the center put two iron four cop what yeah your copper wires okay put four copper wires on the edge and then put two redstone on top and bottom and then that will get you the electric engine and then what you want to do with the electric engine is you want to put it in the center of the crafting table get one iron plate oh I didn't show you to make the iron plate yet sorry uh, let me look up uh, hammer and iron and a crafting table all right, so here's how you make it. You just toss, toss, whoops, toss, toss. Yeah, that's how you make the iron plate. That's also how you make steel plates as well. So let me just toss that and get rid of that. And let me just uh, get rid of that. And then, boom. And then you use all of that, and then you get the metal press. And then what you want to use the metal press for is to make the gold wire to get... Uh, with a normal circuit board and a lapis to make the elite circuit board. Now, how do you make a gold? How do you make a golden wire? Well, here is how. I am amazed that this is the how you make it. I'm pretty sure it goes like this. If it doesn't, I will be mad because it always worked this way before. Uh, yep, that's how you get the gold wire by putting it in the metal press. And then you put it here with lapis, gold wire, the circuit board from earlier, put it together, and then you get BOOM! The elite circuit board. And then the next thing you're going to want to craft is the chemical laboratory, which requires four iron, three bottles, one redstone, and then an electric engine, and then BOOM! That gets you the chemical lab. Now, uh, what are we... Oh, yes. Now what we want to do, what are... 
you oh yeah this is how we make the reaction chamber housing now it requires four steel plates you make steel plates in case you do not know let me get the hammer and the steel and I'm pretty this is a steel ingot from a different mod but tech guns in fact I will show you that it does work and it did make the steel from earlier here it is boom steel ingot and here my friends is how you craft the uh, let's see boom steel plate just like that that's why immersive that's why I love immersive engineering it, it it just makes these other mods so much easier but anyway now that you are through with that one of the first th did I show you to make the carbon mechanical parts let me look it up carbon I don't think it's that difficult carbon mechanical parts no it is not you get a carbon plate and a blaze rod how do you get a carbon a carbon plate you may be asking here let me show you carbon plate two carbon fibers you get the carbon fibers like that and here let me show you just to prove that it works oh lava I forgot about lava I made a tutorial for this and I forgot to fill it with lava lava there we go now it's working and then to get the mechanical parts mechanical parts carbon you get a carbon plate which is just two of those so what uh, do I put them in what why can't I put these in let me see this again it it should be working oh I don't put them in the press whoops no I want to show this carbon plate oh I go back to the metal press oh okay and boom boom no there we go you just have to split it in half like that and then it gets you two carbon plates and then you go back to your chemical laboratory and then you take and you know, throw the lava back in carbon plate and you take the what was it again I forgot already this is why I like JEI carbon blaze rod blaze rod let me just type in rod okay boom and let me toss them in wait not the chemical laboratory it, no it's the metal press again what am I doing all the way over here it's the metal press Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> All right, so here you go. And boom! That's how you get the carbon mechanical parts. T slash time set day. Time set day. Boom! Okay, and then that's how you get that. Now, you're probably wondering, Broad Axel, you showed me how to get the chemical laboratory, all of, these, all of these other parts, but how do I get the cybernetic parts? Now, this is something that... As I was researching for this tutorial, I found out that a lot of other people struggled with that. But there is no reason to worry. Here, let me just uh, whip out a couple of weapons. Gun. I'll just take any weapon I want. I'm pretty sure you can craft the combat shotgun. Combat with my tutorial I'm about to show. Oh, never mind. It's an uncraftable one. But anyway, I'm about to go into here. And okay, so let me just remove that. I want to get something possible. Let me just type in gun. Let me type the same thing in here. Gun. Pretty sure. Mm, blaster shotgun. No, it isn't possible. Tesla gun. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah, possible. Okay, okay. I think I'll take a vector though. Uh, just, just to show you what you can do here. All right, you know what? I'll get a normal diamond sword. To be fair, all right. Uh, boom. This is to be fair. What most of you probably gonna have when you go. And this is how you get the cybernetic parts. Hello. What are you doing? Stop running. Stop. This. Non. 
sense right now. And then boom, that's you get the cybernetic parts. Like that. You go into the nether and kill cyber demons, but they don't drop it. They don't drop the cybernetic parts every time. So you gotta be careful with that. Alright, so boom, now that you figured out how to craft all of that, now what you can now you can move on and you can make the reaction chamber housing which requires fused quartz. Now you're probably wondering, Brock Solo, do I make fused quartz? Well, it's quite simple really. You need four iron ingots, uh, Four iron bars, one grain of infinity. You're probably wondering, Broad Axel, how do I get grains of infinity? Here, let me show you. This is how you get grains of infinity. It's quite simple, like this. You light bedrock on fire, not all of them are gonna drop it, but some will. Come on. Let me just do it up here as well to be absolutely certain that we get it. Hey, and that's how you get grains of infinity like that. Anyway, then that gets you the simple machine, machine, machine chases. Why do I struggle saying that? I don't know. But then you need two furnace, two stone gears, one water bucket, three iron, and one simple machine, machine chases. And then that gets you the alley smelter. Now to get the stone gears. You just need to have four sticks, four cobblestone, and that gets you a stone gear. Now, of course, you can craft it with just the four cobblestone, but that's what you can do to make it easier or to just craft it all at once. But now you've got the simple alloy smelter, which you can now use to make your fused quartz. Like so, one, two, three, four. And it's progressing now. I will also show you another crafting recipe for it. Should be oh, it's more than halfway done progressing 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 in the rain And ding fused quartz now pretty sure that comes in useful for later for the glass thing But anyway, so now that you know how to make fused quartz you can now make the reaction chamber housing and you use more Now oh my goodness mobs everywhere ruining the tutorial weather cope Clear. Boom! There we go. All right. So, in order, oh wait, no, that's how you get. Wait, how do you get the housing? Oh, that's how you get the housing, and this is how you make the controller. That's the reaction chamber controller. There, you get three of the housing on the side, and put fused quartz in the center, and then you make yourself the glass of the reaction chamber now you're gonna need this pipes uh don't mind this it just looks scary but you don't need this but anyway it, it's it, it didn't work anyway but anyway so here's what you do to get the wooden pipes you put two wood next to each other put glass in the middle and then that gets you the wooden pipe and then in order to use the wooden make of the fluid pipe we are going to need to make the it a fluid pipe by getting pipe sealant which you get by just putting a slime ball in a crafting table and then that boom gets you the wooden fluid pipe which you need in order to get fluid into your housing thing but anyway one of the huh, where is it ah here it is here is the recipe for it all right so what you want to do next is you want to make the omnivore which requires Six glass, one, two fused quartz glass, sorry, and then one cauldron, and then that boom gets you the omnivore, which is a reservoir for any liquid. But that is the end of part one for this tutorial. I will do a part two in the same day for the same thing. But anyway, everyone.